height. I welcome you to this lecture series in aircraft propulsion and today we will be discussing about the velocity triangles that are used uh, in the compressor blade analysis. In the previous lecture we understood how the air gets compressed in a stage. So a quick recap on how it gets compressed. When the air enters into the uh, inlet, it compresses due to the ram effect and then when it enters the compressor uh, stage, initially we provide the inlet guide winds to direct the air flow in the direction of rotation of the rotor blade. Now these rotor blades will increase the kinetic energy of the incoming air and let the air pass through the stator. This increment in kinetic energy is being transferred into the pressure energy or the pressure rise in the stator. So now we will go in depth into the velocity vectors and how we can represent it in a uh, well mannered uh, to understand the behavior of the flow within the compressor and finally how the air get compressed in the compressor. So let's begin. So in order to define the velocity parameters in a compressor stage, initially we will uh, try to understand what all the different velocities that are associated uh, with the flow. Initially, uh, the first parameter would be the velocity of the blade itself. So the blade would be rotating at certain RPM, which is the peripheral velocity of the blade. And this rotational uh, velocity can be converted into the linear velocity. So uh, we have a famous relation that is V is equal to omega into R, where V is the linear velocity and omega is the angular velocity. So you can convert the angular velocity into the linear velocity for the analysis purpose. The second parameter what we have here is uh, the absolute velocity of the flow itself. Now the flow is having certain velocity means uh, flow is entering the compressor stage with a velocity of c. So this is a usual notation we represent the velocity of the flow. And because there exist uh, the rotor velocity and the velocity of the air, there will be a relative velocity between these two. And that is, uh, we call it as a w. So w represents the relative velocity. Now the relationship between these three velocity vectors can be given as c is equal to u plus w. It's a vectorial sum. Let's call this as equation number one. Now we will try to understand uh, the velocity triangle in a typical compressor stage. So as we understood, the first row of blades are called as inlet guide vanes or sometimes uh, upstream guide vanes or simply guide vanes. Then the C1 represents the velocity of the absolute air and U represents the velocity of the rotor blade. So we have the second stage as the rotor, means the inlet guide winds guide the air in the direction of rotation of the rotor. So let's try to understand step by step. Then after rotor we have the stator blade uh, rows. So the stage one means is represented by the rotor entry or the IGV exit. Okay, And stage two is represented by the rotor exit and stage 3 is represented by uh, the stator exit. So finally, velocity is being transformed into the pressure energy and to where the velocity is given, the kinetic energy is provided to the incoming air and that energy is being converted into the pressure energy. So let's go step by step. Now C1 is the absolute velocity of the air. Air enters initially in axial direction and because of the shape of the guide winds, the air changes its direction to this. Now it enters uh, the rotor stage with a velocity of C1. So C1 is the absolute velocity of the air. And then we have the rotor velocity the peripheral velocity of the rotor blade which is represented by u. So because there exists 
u and there exists c there will be some relative velocity and we call it as w1 now the angle between absolute velocity and ca1 ca1 represents the axial component of the velocity now if air is entering the rotor blade with a velocity of c1 i can resolve this component into vertical and horizontal so the vertical component is nothing but the axial velocity and the horizontal component we call it as the swirl velocity okay or the tangential velocity one all right so whatever you see here ca1 and wt1 are the components of absolute velocity c and w exist because there exist an angular velocity c1 means uh, c1 is entering at certain angle now if upstream guide vanes or igvs are not there the air will enter axially okay means the angle between the absolute velocity c1 and the axial velocity would be zero and that angle is represented by alpha 1 all right so and then in this uh, slide the enthalpies are defined at stage 1 that is at the rotor entry and the pressure static and stagnation pressure are defined then at stage 2 again uh, static and uh, stagnation enthalpy and static and stagnation pressures are defined and also we have the uh, static and stagnation enthalpy and static and stagnation pressure at the rotor exit in this slide you will understand clearly about uh, the velocity triangles at the rotor inlet rotor exit and the stator inlet so here c1 represents the absolute velocity of the air that is incoming into the rotor blade row okay so and when that air gets the kinetic energy from the rotor blades the value changes to c2 so definitely uh, c2 is greater than c1 that means the rotor blades impart the velocity into the incoming air and why we need to impart the velocity to convert it into the pressure this is very interesting concept and how actually uh, the scientists developed uh, this idea of compressor and how it compresses the air so it's very interesting you will really enjoy this session now um, the angle changes to alpha 2 usually the angles alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 they are called as air angles and that is because it is the angle between uh, the absolute velocity of the air and the axial velocity okay means how much the air is turned uh, in a rotor blade row is represented by alpha 1 and then we have beta sometimes we call it as blade angles right or relative air angles now this alpha represents the angle between the absolute velocity and the axial velocity whereas the beta represents the relative velocity and the axial velocity of the flow so uh, alpha is called as air angle or absolute air, air angle because it is the angle between the absolute velocity and the axial velocity and beta is called as relative air angle because it is the angle between relative velocity and the axial velocity so sometimes beta is also called as blade angle okay so beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 uh, are blade angles whereas alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are called as air angles uh, or alpha as absolute air angle and beta as relative air angle so uh, please familiarize yourself with these terms and also we have defined here what each component is if you want um, please refer to it so again a quick uh, recap of the components of velocity so the first parameter 
or the vector is the absolute velocity of the air itself means at what velocity what is the magnitude of that velocity and what angle the air is entering into the uh, rotor blade then we have the blade velocity itself that is represented by u and then we have w and w represents the relative velocity between uh, the absolute velocity of air and the blade velocity the difference is the relative velocity w right so these three parameters we have defined for rotor entry rotor exit and stator exit right so in the next session we will be uh, discussing about the work absorbing capacity of the compressor blade row and stage and later on we will talk about the degree of reaction so uh, we will end this session now and meet you in the next session